Okay, so I want to show you easy steps to create a line graph with the condition line in Excel. First of all, you open Excel sheet and then it should look something like this. Okay, and then uh, let me click on here. And then I start putting the date. Let's do this all the way to January 10th. There. And then I start putting the number of behaviors. Something like this. Okay. And then um, I click and drag all the way down. And then I go to insert. And then I choose this line. And then I click on this image. Now, you have this graph. And this part here is called legend, but I don't need this for now. And then these uh, horizontal lines, I don't need that either. Now I'm gonna move this a little bit here. And then um, this, the, the data points and data path, they're in blue. So I wanna change the color. I'm gonna click on it, okay? I'm gonna right click. And then I go to this format data series. And then the marker options, I wanna change this data points from uh, diamond to circle, marker fill, solid fill, and then black. Line color, solid line, black. Marker line color, solid line, and black. And then I hit close. So now you can see the line graph all in black. All right, and then I go to insert and uh, I'm gonna put here date. Then I'll put it in here. Then I'll do one more. Frequency. And then um, I'll hit this green and then rotate. And then I can move this here. All right. Okay, now let's say that I want to put the condition line here. Okay. And then I go to insert shape this line. And then from here, all the way up. And then I don't want this color to be blue. I want it to be black. So I choose that. All right. And now, as you can see, these two data points, um, they have the, the data path. And I don't want that. So I click on this data point. OK, let me click one more time. There, now it is selected. And then I right click. And then I choose this format data point. And then I go to line color, no line, close. There, the data path disappeared. And then I go to insert text box. And then let me just put baseline. And then I look at it here. Let me do it one more time. And this one, intervention. There. Now you have the line graph with the condition line. 